What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be on the Bundesliga transfer budgets, obviously wage budgets and potential debt. Um, we've already done the Premier League, um, the La Liga in Spain obviously and the Liga Ur in France, so we're going to do the Bundesliga and we've also got the Serie A one to do. And I thought I can't just do three and not do the other two, so we're going to do all of them. Um, first of all we've got Arminia Bielfeld, if you are planning on doing a save with these guys. Um, finances wise they have zero transfer budget which might be tough as a newly promoted team they've got no wage budget either in 3.84 million they've got 4.5 in the bank and in terms of debt they have no debt so you're literally working with basically nothing but you've also got no debt that's if you want to manage Bierfeld. Um Augsburg, Augsburg? Is it Augsburg? I think it's Augsburg right um, they have Less than a million, 855k. They have quite a decent amount of wage budget, to be fair, 25k. And they have 11 million in the club, which is not bad at all in terms of debt. They have no, oh, they have 8.5, oh, 1.6 million remaining, sorry. 1.6 million remaining. Um, you won't really see that at all. Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen have, what do you, what do they have? 6.84 million, it's not bad, it's not great. Um, 25k again in the wage budget. 53 million in the club, which is pretty good. I, I imagine you can get to January and maybe ask for some more money. Um, and then they have 62 million pound transfer debt, which actually is now at 33k. Sorry, 33 million. Oh, no, is that... Wait a minute, let me just check something here with Bayern. Clauses. How much are they paying here? Yeah, okay, so they're in, so they, they're actually getting money. They're actually about to receive money. Um, still, they're still owed 20 million from Leon Bailey. Um, they're still, still owed, whoa. They're still owed a lot from Kai Havertz. Um, 50 million, I mean, how much did cover? Is it 70? Yeah, so Chelsea basically played hardly anything up front. So actually, they're in a they're in a good position. <laughs> they're in a real good position. They're actually going to bring in sixty two million in uh, in transfer, but they've got thirty three million pound uh, bank loan, which again you won't really see. And a healthy, healthy, healthy overall balance, which is fantastic. So Bayer Leverkusen might be uh, might be a good team to be this year. Bayern Munich, the big dogs. Let's have a look at these guys. They have. 25 million, which is not too bad. Um, 300k, which is a lot of wage budget in uh, in excess. They have a 303 million balance. Yeah, they're just a big power team, aren't they? And they're we're going to receive 60 million in clauses for transfers, which I imagine, yeah, is uh, is Tiago. Yeah, Tiago. It's basically Tiago. <laughs> so yeah, Bayern Munich are rich. We all knew that, right? Um, Bochum, they have. Zero to spend, absolutely zero. 7.26k wage budget. 8.5 million in their overall balance, which is not too bad. And they have zero debt. So the newly promoted teams, it looks like all their debt, if they had any before, it's all been wiped off with the uh, with the promotion, which is which is good, really. In England, there's teams everywhere with debt. So it looks like a good little model in Germany. There's some, uh, some well-run clubs... Borussia Dortmund, they have 8.55 million, 70k transfer uh, wage budget, only 15 million in the club, which is quite surprising, and their debts are at, oh, they're owed 73 million, 73 million they're owed, Usman Dembele, still and Jadon Sancho, oh no, it's just Jadon Sancho, there we go, it's all there, that's quite a lot, isn't it, Man United paid hardly anything up front. Interesting. Very interesting. I imagine Birmingham are going to get an absolute whack for that. 25% of the profit. And you could sell Birmingham for easily 80 million. Easily 80 million. So, yeah, Dortmund are in good position too, as you'd expect though. Um, Eintracht Frankfurt. These guys have 4.27 million to spend. 65k wage budget, which is quite a lot to be honest. Um, finances wise they have got 36 million in the bank which is good and they have just a 
Oh, okay. It says net debt, 3.6 million. Ah, I think that's... Okay. Okay, yeah. So their, their debt, their bank loan debt is 40 million, right? Which actually is not great. Um, but they've got 36 in their club, so I understand now why it says net debt of 3.6. So they actually are in debt. Technically right now, but you never actually will be in debt because it's like that's going to take it off per month, right? 300k per month, you probably won't notice because if you look at the Bundesliga just real quick, you actually get a lot of prize money in this league. Um, even if you finish rock bottom, you get 20, 26 million. And if you win the league, you get 92 million. So you could probably offset that with one one good year. FC Cologne, they have nothing, 427k to spend. 22k wage budget basically um 20 million in the club which is not too bad and they have like a seven million pound a seven million pound debt which gets paid off in three years which you probably again won't notice sell one player you're good so yeah fc cologne that freiburg 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 what have they got let's have a look 1.28 million which isn't very much they're minus 509 pounds per week which again is basically nothing. Um, in their club, they have 18.8 million. And debt wise, they actually have money coming in 4.75 million from Sunshu? Nope. Robin Cock. Yes, from Leeds. So that's that's not bad at all. He's quite good, isn't he? Um, yeah, that's Freiburg. Borussia Munchen Gladbach have, what do you guys have? 8.55 million. 75k in wage budget in the overall club they have 45 million or close to just 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 under and uh, in debt and loans they have 32 million in uh, remaining debt but it's paid off they've got a good uh, they've got a good little i mean that's going to take off that's 15 years to pay back 32 million so <laughs> you're not going to notice that either again a top four finish and it's wiped out isn't it really some good players too really good players Grutha at Firth. I think they just got promoted too, right? I think it's uh, Arminia. Oh, no, Arminia already... Okay, so Arminia came up last year and survived. Well played. Yeah, because Schalke went down and... Werder Bremen, right? Who else went down? I can't remember. Oh, no, Arminia won the playoff, didn't they? Arminia won the playoff, right? I think, I think I'm right. Anybody watching that's a Bundesliga fan, let me know, clarify that. I'm pretty sure. Because Schalke and Werder Bremen went down, guaranteed, 100%. Can I check this? No, I can't. Oh, well. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're Grutha Firth. They have nothing transfer budget-wise, 128k. They have 8,700 uh, wage budget to play with, which, again, is nothing. Um, they have seven million in the club, and a bank loan of seven hundred twenty-five k, which again you won't notice. A lot of the promoted clubs have um, have some decent squads, but they're like a blank canvas. There's no money, but there's no debt. It's sort of like just at a level level uh, playing field. Hertha Berlin. Now this is not a level playing field. These guys have a rich benefactor in charge of them. Uh, although they're underachieving in real life, they have four point two seven million to spend, thirty six k transfer uh, wage budget. Finances wise, they have eighty ninety million in the club, and they have no debt. Um, I wonder if they've still got the uh, the guy in charge that's like quite rich. I wonder if he's still there. Let me have a look. Gagan Bauer, is that is that the guy? I don't know if he's still there. The, the dude that did they spend a lot of money in real life? Is that why they've not got anything to spend? Um, no, they're not really. I wonder if he's gone then, or he's just scaled back his uh, his his money that he's putting in. So they're not really spent this year. Maybe he's just thought spending's not the way forward. Maybe we've got to do it right. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's Earth of Berlin. They don't look as rich this year. Hoffenheim. Let's have a look at these guys. Seven point six nine million, which is quite healthy. 60k wage budget again quite healthy um 85 million in the club and no debt hoffenheim are in a strong position a strong position and they have kramerich vocht hubner daber rudy skov grilich sarasaku some good players man they have some good players geiger's good as well chris richards from um, 
Bayern Munich. Got some good little players. Nordfight, Bruno Larsson. Yes, that's a, that's a solid squad. If you have if you have a good season there, you could finish top four maybe with that. It'd be tough, but you could do it. Uh, Mainz. What have Mainz got? 2.5 million to spend. Only 12k in the wage budget. In the summer, they only spent 5 million. And finances wise, they have 27 million in the club, which is not too bad. And they have a very, very small bank loan of 1.1 million. But they're also, looks like they're getting 9 million in uh, in money through from Mateta? No, Gbamin? Yeah, Gbamin from uh, Everton. Um, it was a weird transfer because I thought it was going to be really good. And then he just not played because of injury, right? 22 million. It's looking like a really good deal for Mainz. Good pick up, good few seasons, and then a big transfer fee. And, and I think he's a good player in real life. Um, like I said, I saw him a few times for Mainz because I watched the Bundesliga quite a lot, but I've not seen him for Everton really. So yeah, and maybe they're just uh, hoping to get his injuries back on track before the. Uh, before I don't think they want to sell him and lose all that cash, right? Which is understandable, right? Leipzig, another big hitter in the Bundesliga. What have these guys got? Seventeen million. Is that the most so far? Nah, Bayern Munich had twenty-five, didn't they? Wage budget eighty-two k. In the club, they have fifty million, which is not bad at all. Um, they have ninety-two million from the chairperson in debt. Um, five hundred k per month, which is quite a lot until for sixteen years, which again is quite a lot, but. If you look at it this way, they've got 92 million left. You only have to get top four once and you've almost wiped it out. Almost. So it looks like a lot of debt. Is it? Who knows? Um, they're also getting money in from uh, from a few players. I'm guessing uh, Luckman is one of them. Yes, he is. Uh, who else is there? Selk? No. Soloth, maybe. Timo Werner, yes, Timo Werner. So the Chelsea, Chelsea are winning a lot in instalments, aren't they? Chelsea instalment FC, it looks like. Stuttgart. Stuttgart are one of my favourite teams in the Bundesliga. I like them. 4.7 million to, tra- to, uh, to spend on transfers. 25k wage budget, which is quite a lot. Um, quite a lot, really. 70 million in the whole club, which is huge, to be honest. Again, um, if you're having a good start to the season and up into January, um, the Stuttgart board might give you a bit extra because they can spare it, right? 70 million. In terms of debts and loans, they have nothing. Absolutely nothing. So Stuttgart might be a good little save to do. Um, I think at some point I'll be doing a Stuttgart save. I like their kits too. I've got a big stadium, a 60,000 seat estate. Well, 60,000, uh, just under 50,000 seat here. Mercedes Benz Arena, it's pretty good as you can see from the from the uh, the screenshot behind you. You can see the stadium; it's really, really big. It's a big club, isn't it? It's uh, good facilities too. Some fantastic players come through uh, Stuttgart's academy. I think we're talking like Timo Werner came from Stuttgart, Joshua Kimmich, um, Serge Gnabry. Uh, some big, big players. Some some huge uh, German names coming through their academy, and there's more than that as well. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. So yeah, Stuttgart's a good little save to do. Um, Union Berlin, another one of my favourite clubs in Bundesliga. Probably my second or first favourite with uh, Stuttgart. They have less than a million to spend. They have 15k transfer budget. Um, they have f- hardly anything in the club. Half a million. And they have £45 million pound in debt, which, again, if you have a good season, because they finished in Euro- uh, Europe last year, European spots, you can wipe that out. But again, it's not great, is it? It's not... It's not fantastically uh, fantastic position to be in. They've got a lot of good players, though. Um, they've got a lot of good players, and they've got players that can sell off for a, not a lot of money, but not bad. Uh, Max Kruse, if you fancy it, he's, uh, you could probably sell him. He's got a lot of wages. Um, he won't command a high transfer fee, but again, wage-wise, he might do well. He's 33-year-old. I don't know. It depends how you want to go, right? If you want to use the, um, the older guys, keep him, obviously. If not, you want to cash in on the wages and free that up, then obviously Max Kruse might be one to sell. But yeah, Union Berlin there. Wolfsburg. Last but not least, Wolfsburg. 8.55 million to spend. That's not bad at all. I think 10 million this year with the effects of COVID is a good transfer budget to have. 50k in the wage budget. 56 million in the club, which is huge. 
and six million transfer debt, which they look like they're paying off to. Who are they paying that off to? I wonder if they're paying it off to Man City uh, in the Metro, who's actually very, very, very good this year. And he's also now a striker. I think last year he was a central midfielder. Oh, is that his brother? He's got a brother, right? Felix. Yes, his brother. Okay, so he's, oh, his brother's also there. So they've also come as a package sort of type, type thing. He went on a free. Right, he's not got bad potential as his brother. But yeah, so um, the, the Nemecha brothers there, got a good team though. Um, I know a few of my uh, my community that have started the games with Wolfsburg, done quite well. Lacroix being one of the main stays in the team. Um, Vranks looks like he's got good potential. Baku's had rave reviews from a few people that watch my Twitch streams. Um, and Babu's obviously fantastic too. Just got some good players, haven't they? Like, just a solid all-round team that if you if you... If you get a few injuries, you've actually got players on the bench that could probably fill in and do quite well. A lot of three-star players, which is very, very good squad depth, I find. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the Bundesliga, guys. There's not too much to shout about. Um, the main players, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Leipzig, are have the most money. In terms of season preview, the best team, obviously, is Bayern Munich. And we've got Dortmund, Hertha Berlin have got the third uh, third best odds. I guess, I guess they do still have the money then, because... Otherwise, why are Hertha Bill in there? Because they haven't got a better squad than Leipzig and Leverkusen or Wolfsburg or probably Gladbach. So Hertha Bill in must be there because of their high rep, because of their um, pulling power by money, right? It has to be that way. It has to be that. So that's answered that question. Some very good young players in Germany too if you want to uh, get your hands on a few of those. But yeah, that's the Bundesliga, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to be doing the Serie A soon, uh, probably tomorrow actually. Uh, and until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.